Hi there. In this screencast, I'll share how to use your Moodle dashboard efficiently. From any page in our Moodle system, you'll see dashboard in the navigation drawer on the left. If you're within a Moodle course, it'll be further down, but it will be somewhere on the left side. Now, if you don't see your navigation drawer, you can click up here in the upper left, the three little lines, it's called a hamburger button to reveal and to hide your navigation drawer. Let's go ahead and hide it for right now. We're in the dashboard and you'll see you've got some filter drop downs here across the top. The first one on the left, you can view all of your courses. You can view only the courses that are currently in progress. Courses that are set to start in the future that are available to students. You won't see courses that are not available to students. Those will essentially be invisible. Same goes for this. You'll see courses from the past that are still available to students. Let's go ahead and click the In Progress and see how it changes up. Let's click some future courses. So this indicates that there's only one course that I'm enrolled in that is currently set to be available to students. Let's see what the past brings up. A couple. There we go. Let's go ahead and go back to all of them. Let's say one or two of these courses might be courses that I frequently access. I can add them to my starred courses. I can star this course. And I can also remove it from you if I want to. Let's say if I star this course though, and let's say this one as well. Now if I want to filter just by the starred courses, just the starred ones. Okay, let's look at all of them again. Look at the next filter. You can view by course name or by last accessed. And lastly, you can view a different, a few different ways. Card, list, and summary. I think card is default, but list view might work better for you. Or summary view. There you go. I thought I'd bring to your attention these three filters across the top. So we'll get the navigation drawer back to the default setting. That's what it looks like kind of going in, so you know. And that's how you use the Moodle dashboard. Have a great term.